Facoemulsification cataract surgery is a common surgical technique. Unfortunately, many patients had complications. Complications while doing continuous curvilinear capsulorhexis or CCC is often the reason for poor surgical outcome of cataract surgery. In this video we would like to discuss some of the ways to avoid such complications. You can find the links to other videos on similar topics in the description of this video. You can also find the links to the instruments used in these steps in the description of the video. Development of Continuous Curvilinear Capsulorhexis or CCC technique has significantly contributed to the safety and effectiveness of modern cataract extraction by phacoemulsification. Since it was first described by Jimbal and Neohan, CCC has become the technique of choice for anterior capsulotomy. Capsulorhexis is a circular, central, curvilinear opening in the anterior capsule created with a subincisional needle puncture. It is then completed with arcuate shearing taken in clockwise and anticlockwise directions. A well-centered, adequately sized CCC is a prerequisite for successful phacoemulsification. It ensures a safe and effective performance of various steps of surgery. It ensures a correctly positioned intraocular lens that has optimal rotational stability. The CCC can efficiently create different sizes of smooth and circular capsulotomy with a strong capsular rim. It resists steering even when stretched during cortical removal and lens implantation. Manually, the capsular hexis can be fashioned by creating a small tear in the center of the anterior capsule. Later the resulting capsular flap is advanced into a circular shape by guiding the leading edge with the cystitome. Alternatively, the capsular flap can be pulled in a circular fashion by grasping the leading edge with a forceps and advancing the tear with frequent regrasping. Various instruments and devices have been developed to facilitate the creation of a CCC that include needle capsule or hexis, forceps capsule or hexis, by manual capsule or hexis, and to staged capsule or hexis. Several mechanized systems have also been developed to facilitate CCC. As compared to other techniques of capsulotomy, CCC is considered to be stronger because of the continuous smoothness of its edges. The architecture of capsulotomy greatly influences the position of the lens and subsequent refractive outcome. A perfectly circular and properly sized capsular hexis allows the capsular back to completely envelop the optic providing a more predictable effective lens position and optimal refractive outcome. In addition, it also reduces the occurrence of posterior capsular opacification or PCO. The appropriate size of capsulotomy varies between 5 and 6 mm with an ideal size of 5.5 mm. In eyes with weak zonules, the capsular hexis can be kept 0.5 to 1.0 mm larger than the optic to prevent capsule contracture. Hope you find the video useful. Please let us know in comments the factors you think are associated with continuous curvilinear capsular hexis or CCC. Please let us know the other topics on which you would like to see similar videos. Check the description below for a link to other useful videos and instruments mentioned in the video.